Hello everybody and welcome to race 5 of the Green Circuit of Championship Series and we are at Wake County for the FedEx Hamster 90. It is the 5th of 14 races on the very small quarter mile track. So here's some of the storylines. Dale Earnhardt Jr. the last second withdraws his car. Uh, field is now reduced to 21 stars. I'm not sure why. We'll find out why he did withdraw. So he will not be racing tonight. Uh, who can win on this is very challenging quarter mile track and Keith Light he holds a slim points lead after winning the Snowball Derby last week. So here is the starting grid. Uh, Jaden Bedreau he is on the pole alongside of Matt Kenseth. Uh, row two we have Philip Torres a close second in the points in Julian Meredith. We are starting fifth alongside of Kyle Larson. Car is pretty good so hopefully you can get up there today. There's your points leader, Keith White and Eric Alvarola in row four. And then we have Lance Meredith and Ryan Dangerfield in the fifth row. Row six, we have Will Boucher and Red Farmer. Row number seven, we have got Dan Edwards and Kyle Busch in the Rowdy Toyota. Row number eight, we have Chase Elliott and Fernando Alonso. Row number nine, it is Tony Stewart alongside of Todd Jarrett. Tony needing to get something, make something happen here. We have David Stremme, who won at Irwindale, and Sarah Waite in row 10, and then taking up the field uh, because he thought he was going to overdrive his qualifying lap and wreck good old Denny Hamster. Um, and I also want to apologize for my voice been battling a nasty chest cold for the past few days, so that's, my voice sounds a little bit hoarse. That's why, so that's probably why I'm a little bit slow of updating. I'm still not feeling 100% great, <clears throat> but I'm trying to push it through here. Um, so the field is going to roll away, and while you enjoy some racing, I'm going to rest my voice and enjoy Wake County.
outside. Still outside. Still outside. Still outside. All clear. Outside. Clear high. Outside. Clear high. Outside. All clear. Outside. Clear high. Outside. All clear. Outside. Still outside. All clear. Clear high. Outside. Still outside. Clear high. Caution down. Caution down. Caution down. Keep taking it. Come on. Big wreck in turn one. The road is closed, but Caution is out, buddy. Caution is out. Roll out of the throttle. Base car has the field. Get caught up there, buddy. All right, first caution of the day, lap 19, and Philip Torres gets into the back of Todd Jarrett. Gets a little bit of contact at the end from Will Boucher and Ryan Dangerfield. So it looked like Jarrett was kind of holding him up, and he was tested. He was losing his patience, which short track racing can do. Kind of that outside groove. It's really very difficult to pass. So they'll both be at the back of the field, and we'll get the restart. Uh, no double file restarts here again. Just I experimented with it. Still doesn't work. So. I'm just going to do the standard old school lap cars on the inside, which I really hate, but until I can figure out a way to not do that. As we'll get the green flag, and we're going back, and Matt Kenseth is leading. And we will see what happens.
outside. Still outside. All clear. There's a command on the front stretch. Caution down, caution down, caution down. Keep taking, come on. The road is closed, bud. Caution is out, buddy. Caution is out. Roll out of the throttle. Pace car has the field. Get caught up there, buddy. All right, we got caution number two, and I have a feeling there's going to be quite a bit of cautions at this track. Kyle Busch runs into the back of Dan Edwards. You could say it's a Kyle Busch thing, just running out of patience as usual. And spins him out. Looks like everybody else gets by. And another rear view. Yeah, Kyle just plows him. Just pause them. So that is number two on the day for cautions, and we'll get the restart. Matt Kenseth has pretty much dominated this race so far. And I think being out front, it's the best place to be because it is so hard to pass. So we will get the restart, and Matt Kenseth has the lead. And the caution's out already. And I believe I caused that one. I think I spun my tires and got loose. Let's take a look at the replay here. Yeah, I looked like I was trying to warm up and went down into the 32 of our point leader, Keith Light. Oh, yeah. Just trying to spin my tires and get ready to go. So that concludes caution number three. As we're going to try for another restart at lap 53. Let's see if uh, we can go 10 laps without a caution. Enjoy. Alright, caution number, I believe it's four, and it's Denny Hamster doing Denny Hamster stuff as he takes out my sub, Jaden Bedreau, for no reason. Boy, he's really turning into a bully on the racetrack. He's pretty much running out of talent week in and week out. Look at this. He could have just given him the lane and just plows him into the wall. And everybody stacks up behind him. We kind of got a little brushed up in that as well. Let's take a look at the rear. Maybe he was pushing up a little bit, but, you know, the dumb hamster could have at least backed off. He thinks he's all that because this race is sponsored by him. I believe there's going to be a lot of paybacks in the future for this guy. So we're going to get another restart. Matt Kenseth is basically checking out on everybody. And let's see what happens. Can he hold on? Clear low, buddy. Still there, inside. Clear low, buddy. Inside, behind your toes, Steve Lambert. All clear. 
Point of defense in turn two. Point of defense on the boot stretch. Caution down, caution down, caution down. Keep digging, come on. Caution is out, buddy. Caution is out. Roll out of the throttle. The road is closed, but there's a spin in turn three. Line up behind the 26. Point of defense in turn two. Come around the 28. And there you have it. Payback time, hamster. So what you get, you want to wreck people, including me at Irwindale, but you want to go run into one of my subs? Payback. And this is an awesome one. Look at Jaden gets right into him. Shows his displeasure. Look at that. Payback, buddy. Let's take a look at it again. Yep. Got him right in the square of the bumper. Turned him around. I don't care if you're sponsoring this race or not. Everybody stacks up and look at Jaden. <laughs> that a boy. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> My opinion, the best part of the race. And here's a nice. On board for good measure. See ya, buddy. I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> Two for the price of one. So Hamster gets revenge, or we get the revenge on Hamster. So we're gonna restart. It'll be less than 20 laps to go now. Matt Kenseth, uh, I don't think anybody, unless Kyle Larson, can get to his rear bumper. Kansas pretty much has this in the back, so we'll step away for the exciting conclusion and see what happens. Outside. All clear. Caution 
All right, six caution, and Will Boucher gets into the back of Dan Edwards, and boy, Edwards has been like a pinata tonight, and we tried to avoid it. It looked like we did, but we spun out. Somehow we're a lap down. Boucher gets into the back of him, and I guess I bumped into Jarrett, and it got me all squirrely. So now I'm a lap down. So there's going to be one lap to go, and it's pretty much going to be clear sailing for Matt Kenseth. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he has dominated that. So I'll stick with you here. So the white and the green flag come out for Matt Kenseth. Pretty much wins this one going away. Not even a shot, and I don't think I can get around Red Farmer. So Matt Kenseth gets the victory in the fifth race of the season. So an impressive win, pretty much led wire to wire. And a disappointing run for us. So here are the final results. Matt Kenseth, Lance Meredith, Kyle Larson, Eric Alvarola, and Lance, I'm sorry, Julian Meredith was second, Lance Meredith was fifth. Then we have Chase Elliott, Will Boucher, Philip Torres, good run for him in eighth. David Stremme, Ryan Nangerfield, the top ten. Stupid Hamster comes back in 11th. Uh, Fernando Alonso, and we're the first car a lap down in 13th, so a disappointing night for us. You can see the rest of the guys finishing there. Jared and Edwards both two laps down, <laughs> as well as Bedreau. But Bedreau, Bedreau had a little bit of help from Hamster. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Here are the point standings. So we're five races in, and... There's your point leader right there. Philip Torres, two points ahead of Matt Kenseth, David Stremme, uh, Julian Meredith, and Keith White, who was the points leader coming in. We're eighth right now, so we're about 15 points back. And Tony Stewart right now rounds out the top 10. Dale Hart Jr. took a big hit after having to withdraw from the race, so he's way back in 21st in points. So a wild night here. I want to take the time and thank everybody for watching and thank you for bearing with me. I've been battling this cold for the last few days and not feeling 100%, not feeling all that great at the moment. So I'm just trying to push through this and try to get this out. Um, so the next race, I believe, um, I don't have it marked down, but you'll see it here. It's going to be, at, I believe it's at Hickory. Um, so that'll be the sixth race. So it'll be the next race and hopefully we can get one of our subs to get a victory here. Um, I'm really trying to get you guys with your ratings, but sometimes circumstances just keep from happening. So with that said, I'm going to wrap it up here and get some rest. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the comments, all the support. It really means a lot to me, and I really do appreciate that. Um, I'm going to try within the next few days to get the uh, next race up for the first chase race, uh, depending on how I feel. If not, it'll be up early next week. So until then, until we see each other again, uh, thanks for watching, and you have yourself a good one. Bye.